Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who this world ignorantly calls God. And Yahweh Shai is who this world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Also, I would like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone, which are the true leaders of Israel. And also, I would like to say Shalom to the hopeful elect, the 144,000 along with the one-third men, women, and children that's listening in true sincerity, who the Lord will have mercy upon. All right, and um, today's um, lesson, you know, I'm gonna talk about repentance, all right? Because, you know, we, we, um, you know, we, we coming into serious times, all right? And, you know, if, if, if you haven't repented and, and, and turned back to Yahweh Bashimi Abishai in truth and sincerity, all right, during these evil days, all right, the Lord is not gonna, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna, um, it's not gonna protect you, all right. He gonna number you to the sword, all right. He he, he gonna, um, um, you're not gonna be protected, all right. When martial law troops come, all right. When um, when all hell's breaking loose, all right, in these streets, when the civil unrest, all right, race riot, race roars, race riots, all right. The Lord is not gonna protect you, all right. You know, so that's why you know, um, you know. That's why you have to repent and turn back to your how about Shemuel Shai, all right? Okay, so um, this is um, etymologydictionary.com, all right? And um, I looked up the word repentance, all right? It says, repentance goes beyond feeling to express distinct purpose, purposes of turning from sin to righteousness, all right? And that's why, you know, that's, you know, that's why we go out to them highways and byways, all right? That's why we make these videos all right to warn to warn to warn the sheep all right the lord said if you love me feed my sheep all right because we, we go, that's why we constantly make these videos all right we constantly out there on the highways and byways all right telling our people to repent you so-called blacks hispanic and native americans all right um that's why we tell y'all to repent all right Be repent before the evil days come all right so um All right, so it says, I'm going to read that again. Repentance goes beyond feeling to express distinct purposes of turning from sin to righteousness. All right, and with sin, according to the to the Bible, all right, 1 John chapter 3 and verse 4, whosoever committed sin, transgressive also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. All right, so sin is the transgression of the law. All right, you transgress the law by um, eating pork, all right, celebrating your birthday. All right, eating shrimp, crab, lobster. You 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 celebrating Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas. Shaving your head bald, yeah, uh, shaving your beard. All right, all those things are abominations. All right, and 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 you have to turn away from 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 your wicked deeds, man. Having sex with other man's wives, smoking, smoking, defiling a temple. All right, all those things are abominations, all those things that the Lord hates, all right? So, um, so let me get Matthew. This is uh, Matthew chapter 24 and verse 6. All right, Matthew chapter 24 and verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, see that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. All right. Every time you turn on your news, man, you hear of wars and rumors of wars. All right. You hear about China. All right. You hear about Russia. I mean, Slaka, you hear about Russia. All right. Um, Africa. Africa is, um, you know, um, teaming up with Russia. All right. All this is Bible prophecy. All right. You got, um, you got um, North Korea, South Korea. All right. You, you got Syria. All right. Every time you turn on the uh, news, you hear of wars. And rumors of wars all right but it says but the end is not yet all right this is the time that we live in matthew chapter 24 and verse 6 all right and it says verse 7 for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places all right all these things is is, is happening all right you you got famines all right? you got famines over there in um um yeah, venezuela 
All right, you got you got um you got pestilence breaking out. You got earthquakes in diverse places. All right, and it says verse eight. All these are the beginning of sorrows. All right, so you the worst is coming. Worst things is coming to to um to America. So this is uh Second Edges chapter nine and verse three. Um, now I'll start with verse 2, Salaki. Hold on. Alright, Second Edges chapter 9 and verse 2. Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Verse 3. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and upwards of the people in the world. Alright? It's just the time we're living in. Alright? Haiti. Alright? Oh, it's all hell is breaking loose in Haiti. All right, you got um, up wars in Haiti. All right, um, you got up wars in um, what was the other place? Uh, Chile. All right, Hong Kong. All right, uh, all across the world is pure. Is uh, is 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 um, you know, all hell breaking loose, man. All right, and it's coming here soon to America, man. This all this is Bible prophecy. All right, verse four. Then shall thou. Then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. All right, and, um, you got um, you know all, all these things that the, the Lord was speaking of, man. All these things that the Lord was speaking of. All right, back in Matthew's. All right, um, you got John the Baptist. All right, let me just go there. Uh, this is um. All right, because the um, the last days, you know, it started when when Yahweh Shai got crucified on 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 the cross. All right, over two thousand years ago, that that was technically technically when the end days began. All right, so we really living in we know we really living in the last minutes, the last seconds. All right, it says. Matthew chapter 3 and verse 2. In those days came John the Baptist preaching in the wilderness of Ju Judea. All right, so John the Baptist, you know, been preaching um, since the, since the um, you know, beginning of time. Saying, and verse 2 saying, and saying, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. All right, so the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. All right, and, you know, just like the prophets of old, the prophets, uh, the prophets are, are back reincarnated. Um, t telling the warning the people about the same things, t telling you, telling the people to repent for the kingdom is at hand. All right, and the kingdom of heaven, you know, is really at hand, man. You know, you know, any day the RFID chip can be made mandatory. All right, the the economy is is crashing. All right, the um the economy is crashing. The RFID chip is here. All right, you um the day they um broadcasting it on, on, on mainstream media all right so the the rfid chip is here man the this the rfid chip can be made mandatory any any day all right it says um let me get another precept this is uh so the so the end days is here man and and you know we got to repent you got to repent and turn back to the to your how about you was shot all right because the, the 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 um grace all right the grace grace period is closing right now we live in in a grace period all right this is the grace you know the, um to get right with you how about shimmy all right ask him for forgiveness all right to um repent all right let's get repent again it says repent goes beyond feeling to express distinct purposes of turning from sin to righteousness and that's and that's what you know we're trying to get our people to do all right but we know that one third of israel you know is predestined for salvation all right so we know we really making these videos for the elect all right so this is isaiah chapter 1 and verse 16 watch you make you clean put away the evil of your doings from before my eyes cease to do evil all right it says wash you and make you clean all right you know, the lord is not telling you to go and go take a bath you know and wash up with soap or go in these church houses and get baptized by water no you know he's he's, he's talking spiritually man 
you gotta uh wash you and make you clean all right put away it says put away the evil of your doing from before my eyes cease to do evil all right put away the evil of your doing all right so you know any brothers in any, any um evils that you're doing all right in the sight of the lord all right if you um having sex with other man's wives all right you you, you got to cease that cease to do evil all right if you um defiling your simple then you got to cease you got to cease that man if you um if you um you know getting getting pissy drunk every day then you got to stop doing that all right if you um if you eating pork you know you got to put away those the evil of your doings man all right because you know defiling your temple you know you smoking weed is not worth you um losing your life all right it's not worth you burning in in, in the lake of fire all right the are uh, those um thermonuclear missiles all right it's not worth you know it's not worth you getting caught up in these race riots all right it's not worth it man all right so this is uh jeremiah chapter 4 and verse 1 it reads if thou will return O israel all right talking to you so-called black hispanic and native americans all right say if the lord yahweh bashim yahweh return unto me and if thou will put away thy abominations out of my sight then shall thou not re not remove all right it says if thou will put away thy abominations out of my sight all right because the lord all right he sees everything you know he, he he's watching he's watching you all right the lord is watching you the angels watching you all right so you, you you can't you can't hide your sins away from the lord man the lord the lord you know he sees everything all right the angels is watching you all right at all times all right you got to put away your abominations put away eating pork put away um eating shrimp put away eating crabs all right because none of that none of these none, nothing on the earth is worth um it's, it's worth dying for, all right? Only thing it's worth dying for is Yahweh by Shema was shot, all right? That's the only thing that's worth. You know, nothing in this world is, and everything that you see is temporary, all right? Everything that you see is temporal, all right? The, um, um, you know, they, you, you falling off, off after your lust, man. You know, it's not worth it. It's not worth getting put to death for that, all right? Because the Lord says, you know, um, roughly paraphrasing, if you, um, you know, anything that you lose on this side, you're going to get it back a hundredfold. All right. So, you know, if, 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 you know, if you got to lose, you know, your kids or your wife, all right, the Lord, the Lord going to give all that back to you plus more. All right. So, um, let me get another scripture. This is Sirach chapter five and verse seven. It says, make no tearing to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. Put put not off from day to day. All right. You know, not you don't put off from the Lord. All right. Don't say, um, you know, I ain't going, I ain't gonna go out to the highways and byways this week. You know, I'm gonna go next week. Nah, man, you you, you can't put off day to day with the Lord. All right. Because if you waiting the next week, all right, to come out to the highways and byways, all right, all hell can, can be breaking loose. All right, all hell can break loose by then. All right, don't put off day to day. All right, um, you you gonna say, man, nah, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and, and and go to the and go play basketball today. You know, I'm, I'm gonna get serious. I'm gonna get serious. I'm gonna get serious and read the Bible. You know, tomorrow. You know, we can't put off from day to day. All right, the Lord say he's gonna come back as a thief in the night. All right, no man but the heavenly Father knows when the when the um. No man knows the day and the hour, all right, but the heavenly Father, Yahweh, all right? So putting that off from day to day, it says, well, suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. You know, like I just said, the Lord say he's going to come as a thief in the night, all right? So, you know, you can't put off from day to day, all right? Can't put off doing your videos. Can't put off from reading reading these scriptures. Can't put off um, um, your sins, all right? Say, oh, uh, my New Year's resolution is, oh, I'm going to stop smoking weed and I'm going to stop eating pork. No, the Lord can come back um, uh, December 31st, all right, the day before New Year's, all right? So putting off day to day, it says, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. And in 
and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance right man if, if you ain't getting if you don't get right with you how about you all right the lord go, gonna destroy you all right you're gonna perish in the day of vengeance all right he, he, the scriptures say um isaiah 65 and um let me get just get it before i butcher the scripture all right isaiah chapter 65 and verse 13 it says therefore thus saith the lord lord yahweh behold my servant shall eat but ye shall be hungry behold my servant shall drink but ye shall be thirsty behold my servant shall rejoice but ye shall be ashamed All right and that's talking about the, the 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 um you know that's talking about when shit hit the fan with all hell breaking loose all right and there's looting all right there's riots there's race race riots race wars all right when uh fema camps these these martial law troops all right take over america man the the um his elect his his elect shall eat all right and it says but ye shall be hungry who's that ye he's talking about all right two-thirds all right two-thirds of israel man you know it says wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of their time all right so if you don't have the wisdom and knowledge of understanding all right you, you're gonna be you, you know you're gonna be finished man you're gonna be through all right, he says, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. His servant's going to be rejoicing when the day, when the day of the Lord comes, when all hell break loose. All right, verse 14 says, behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of sorrow of heart, and ye shall howl for vexation of spirit. Man, man, you know, that day of the Lord, man, you know, that's nothing to play with. All right, you got to get right with your how about some y'all shall repent because the kingdom of heaven is at hand, man. All right? Let me get another scripture. This is uh, Acts chapter 3 and verse 19. It says, Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the time of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. All right? Repent ye therefore and be converted. All right? Let's get the... Let's get converted in the blue letter. All right, so this is converted in the blue letter. All right, it says to turn to, to worship the true, the true God, to turn, I mean, to cause, to return, to bring back, to love and obedience to god to love to love for the children all right so to turn to 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 worship the true god all right so let's read that again acts 3 and 19 repent ye therefore and be converted all right return that your sins may be blotted out all right you know and how your sins gonna get blotted out man by by repenting R repenting all right asking you how about you now shot forgiveness all right follow the ways of follow the um the law and statute commandments to the best of your ability all right shedding off the, shedding off the old ways all right shedding off all um shedding off the old man all right being converted to change man all right Let me read that one more time acts 3 and 19 repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the time of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord, Yahweh shot. All right. Let me get one more scripture. Uh, yeah, there's that. Was, uh, you know that was it. All right. That's, that's that's a precept that I had, you know, lined up. All right. I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakhakwadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who this world ignorantly calls God, and, Yah and Yahweh Shai is who this world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. I'm going to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, the 144,000, along with the one-third men, women, and children that's listening to truth and sincerity. All right? And repent. All right? Repent, Israel. All right? The time. The, um, repent. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. All right? All hell about to break loose and here in America. All right? And, um... Shalom, shalom.